Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the Windows operating system as a whole over the last 30 odd years or so has undergone numerous changes. Now, although Microsoft has changed different elements and user interface um, features of the operating system, there are some legacy features or legacy components as they are also known that have almost remained unchanged over the last 30 odd years or so. So I thought in this video, in case you're unaware, we could just have a quick look at some of the uh, more common examples of legacy features that to some extent haven't been changed in Windows um, over the last 30 odd years or so. And some of these features even date back to Windows 95 XP and so on, and can still be found in Windows 11. Now, this is by no means a comprehensive list and, as, and is in no particular order. And the first legacy component would be the command prompt. Now, to get to that, we just do a search for command and then you just click on the utility and this will open up the command line utility known as command prompt. And believe it or not, uh, the very early versions of uh, Windows, the Windows operating system, were actually run using command prompt as they were um, first built to run on DOS. So command prompt basically has remained unchanged um, over the last 30 odd years or so. Then moving on to the next, um, that would be the control panel, which is another legacy aspect um, of the operating system and component. And as many of you would know, this is where you get things done in the operating system. So this is where you change different settings, options, and you can so-called configure and tweak the operating system to your own personal choice and preference. And although the control panel has uh, more or less remained unchanged and remained unchanged over uh, the last couple of years, and Microsoft, since the release of um, Windows 11, now has started to migrate um, some of the, um, the options and the features over to the settings app, the more modern settings app in Windows 11, and also in some of those in Windows 10. So as an example, in Windows 10 and with also Windows 11, if you click on the system, um, you click on system in the control panel, that will actually take you over to the about section in the settings app, as many of you would know. And then moving on to the third legacy component, and that's the run dialog box. And to get to that, you can also, you can right click on your start menu, click on run, or you can also just use the Windows key and R and that will open the legacy run dialog box. And yeah, you can just launch different features of the operating system. So as an example, I can run the registry editor and if I type in reg edit, I can click on OK and that will open the registry editor. So that's just an example. And then another um, feature that's been around for 30 years plus or so has been the character map. And to get to that, you can just do a search for character, character map and Basically, this just, just gives you shortcuts uh, to different characters that you can use if you are typing up a document and so on. And I actually use this quite frequently when I'm creating titles for my YouTube video. So that's another legacy component of Windows, still around now uh, in Windows 11. And then uh, the third last one for today's video, the system information. And like most of these legacy components, you can just do a search for that uh, in the search and system information and that'll just take a second or two to refresh and yeah you can just um, find out a whole lot of different um, details about the actual operating system and your device that you are using and is quite handy and this has been around now in Windows for many years and still available in Windows 11 and then the legacy disk cleanup utility and this is one of my favorite components of the Windows operating system and you can also do a search for disk cleanup and um, the disk cleanup utility basically is a feature that helps you to check for temporary files and um, junk files and just stuff that the Windows operating system doesn't need and you can safely delete and I have actually posted a good couple of videos on the disk cleanup utility in past um, in past videos so if you'd like to do a search for those you can just do a search for disk cleanup and um, basically, it helps you to free up space by just deleting um, junk and temporary files from your system. And then the last one for today's video is WinVer about Windows. So if we head back to the search and we just type in WinVer, hit enter, that'll open about Windows. And yeah, you can see the version and build of the Windows operating system that you are running. And in my case, that's Windows 11 version 22H2 OS build 22621. 0.963. So that's just a couple of examples of some of the legacy components and features of Windows that have been around now for the last 30 years or so that can still be found uh, in Windows 11 as of today. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.